Today we're diving straight into the thick of it. What's really happening in our real estate market right now here in Calgary. Maybe you're thinking about buying, but wondering if now is the right time, or perhaps you're a seller on the fence waiting to see where things are headed. Let me tell you, there's one trend in the data that we cannot ignore and it could mean a big change is coming. But before we get there, let's set the stage with a quick rundown of what's happening right now. All right, let's start with the basics. The market stats from August brought us 2,186 homes sold, but actually with a few sales reported late, that was 2,190. That's down about 19% from last year, and new listings are up 13%, and our inventory as a whole is up just over 37%. Our months of supply is now above two months, and we haven't seen that since the end of 2022. We have to remember though that these supply levels, while they are rising, are still lower than longer term trends, and we have a lot more people living in Calgary now. So what does that mean? Well, it means more options for buyers, maybe even fewer bidding wars. I know I just listed a property in Copperfield and last year at this time for this price point, we probably would have gotten at least, let's say five to seven offers. And because we priced the property properly now, we still had multiple offers, but it was definitely less. Homes are taking about 27 days on average to sell right now. So if you're a seller, don't be surprised if it takes a bit longer than last year's frenzy. Yes, values are still climbing year over year. Benchmark price was up to 601,800, which is 6.3% over last year. But if you remember from last month, benchmark price was 606,700. So month over month, we're down almost $5,000. But here's the data point I've been keeping my eyes on. And one I think is very telling as to our market direction. You may remember from last month, back in May, during the peak of the spring market, 62% of homes sold at or over list. In June, that number dropped to 56%. By July, it was down to 49%. And so far in August, with 1,208 sales, as of the 17th, only 40% of homes are selling at list price or higher. Well, we finished off August with only 39% of homes selling for at list price or over, which is down 10% from July. So far for September, we're at 38%. So we see the trend of this number going down each month. Now, I want you to stay tuned to the end of this video where I'm gonna discuss how this affects you if you're thinking about buying or selling and is now actually a good time. But first, let's talk about why it feels like we're in a recession, but we're actually not. You know, are we going into a recession? Are we in a recession right now? Because it sure feels like we're in one. You've probably felt it, higher grocery bills, gas prices creeping up, and maybe your paycheck isn't stretching as far as it used to. It sure feels like a recession, doesn't it? But technically, Canada isn't in one. Not yet, anyways. So why does it feel this way? Here's where it gets interesting. Despite rising unemployment and retail spending per person dropping, overall GDP is flat. A recession is when we have two consecutive quarters where the economy contracts. We were close from the third to the fourth quarter of 2023, but close a recession does not make. The savior so far is all because of rapid population growth driven by immigration. More people in the country means more total spending. But when you look at it on a per person basis, we're actually spending less. So economists are calling this a per capita recession. The Bank of Canada had kept interest rates high to control inflation, driven by that increased demand from new residents, particularly in the housing sector. On top of that, what we've seen so far, there is an expectation of more rate cuts ahead, but is it enough to avoid a recession? Over the next few years, three quarters of Canadian mortgages are coming up for renewal. Three out of four mortgages will need to be negotiated by the end of 2026. Even with interest rates coming down, the increase in mortgage payments will still be a shock to a lot of people. It's a big deal. Think about it. If you're one of the millions of Canadians in this boat, you're probably asking yourself, how the heck are we going to manage these extra costs. 
as these renewals come up, more and more homeowners might be forced to sell if they can't afford the new payments, potentially flooding the market with new listings and putting pressure on prices. So if you're buying, that could mean more options, but if you're selling, you will definitely need to be strategic about it. The banks are preparing as well. They've already set aside 4.3 billion in provisions for bad loans, nearly double what they set aside last year. They're bracing for impact and it is a clear signal that they expect some rough skies ahead. The glimmer of hope is the Bank of Canada cutting rates and this could mean some relief is coming, but the question is, will it be enough? They're cutting pretty slowly compared to the rise. So, what do we take away from all of this? Well, for buyers, if you've been waiting for the right moment, now could be the time to at least explore your options, specifically the next few months, because looking back every spring, we typically see a slight dip in these winter months for home prices. With more homes coming onto the market and less chance of paying over list price, there are opportunities out there. So keeping in mind, lower interest rates typically bring more buyers off the fence. For my sellers, let's be honest, we don't want home prices to drop. There, I said it, no one wants their equity to drop by 10% as a homeowner, which is 69% of the people in Calgary. We've been happy to see prices go up, but we're at a turning point, and if you've been thinking about selling, either do it now or wait until the end of February before the spring market, where we'll likely see more demand. I wouldn't sell in November and December unless I had to. With that being said, we don't know what's going to happen in 2025, but with the hopes of lower interest rates bringing more buyers to the table, we might be able to hang on to that upper hand. The market may be cooling, but it's far from frozen. If you're new here, my name is Dawn. My goal with this channel is to help people grow their wealth through real estate. If you find any value from my videos, please like and subscribe. Are you curious about the numbers or need more specific insights? If you're someone like me who wants to see and read what I'm discussing here, the latest stats from the Calgary Real Estate Board are linked below. And if you have any questions about buying or selling or to discuss how these trends affect your specific real estate goals, book a call with me. I would love to hear from you and I'll see you soon.